This one right here is one of the items that I will not bring to whatnot. And the reason is, hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm also going to talk to you about a couple jewelry items, and I'm going to tell you why I will not bring those to whatnot. I will put those on eBay, and I think it's going to make a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and get started here with the first big money bolo. So the first one here is this plush Dalmatian dog, Melissa and Doug. And I put lifelike. I think realistic would have been a better term. Um, realistic is much better than lifelike. And this did take a little while to sell. This has been listed th since July 4th of 2022. So um, would realistic have helped me sell the item? I don't know. I thought it was really cool. And I don't see a lot of Dalmatian plush. So I thought it was going to sell a lot quicker. Um, it was kind of big though. So shipping was kind of high. Bought this at a garage sale for $5, sold it for $65. The buyer was all in for $137.35 with shipping and tax. So that could have been, you know, when you think about selling things and bigger items and you put in the amount they paid for shipping, new Vera Bradley little hipster purse bag hanging around. This I got at a garage sale for $2 and I sold it for $81.29 and the buyer paid shipping. This one right here is one of the items that I will not bring to whatnot. And the reason is, is I know this brand now because I picked some up and I did some research because I just thought they were super, super cool. They are marked Jewelry 10. Now, I start my items on whatnot at $5. And if I brought this to whatnot, more than likely the audience is not going to know this brand because it is more of an artisan made piece. It may get some bids. People may look it up. I don't know, but chances are it's not going to go for very much. And I already know this is a big money bolo. So honestly, for this one, it would not be in my best interest to bring this to whatnot because the audience, the people buying, are probably not going to know it's a big money item. Now, if I bring something like a Weiss brooch, people in the audience know that Weiss is a sought after brand. So they're more than likely going to bid that up. Are they going to bid it up to what I could sell it for on eBay? No, probably not. Most of the people on whatnot that are buying, a lot of the people buying for me are resellers. So they're going to want to get a deal so that they can make a profit. Now, do I have collectors that come in? Maybe. I don't know. But I guess the point being here is that being that it's an artisan made piece, it's not maybe one that people would know that it's highly sought after. And I only know this from experience. So I would put this on eBay, not whatnot. Because if I put it on whatnot, I may only sell it for 5 or $10. And that would really stink knowing that I know it's a big money bolo. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $90 for this and the buyer paid shipping. These here are the Dinosaur Train Dawn Paradon and Buddy T-Rex interactive talking action figures, batteries not included. So these are interactive and they talk back and forth to each other. Now, I have had these listed since... 2021. I did have another set that sold much quicker. It may depend on which dinosaur you have. I got these at a garage sale for two bucks. So um, not a big deal to wait it out. Sold them for $55.80 plus shipping. This is a Walt Disney World's Park Alice in Wonderland teapot. I got this at a garage sale for $6. Sold it for $40.30 plus shipping. This is not something I typically pick up. This was not fun to ship. Um, it had this detail on the top. It had a lid. Yeah, not a huge fan of shipping breakables. You guys know that if you watch me, but I did like this one. It was Disney and I bought it and I sold it. But I will tell you, I uh, it sat in my send offers. You know how you can send offers to people who like or watch your item? I kept avoiding this one. I'm like, ah, I don't want to send an offer on that because if they accept, I really don't feel like shipping this. You know, I do that with breakables. I'm like, I don't want to send an offer. I don't want to ship it. And that's one of the reasons why I don't pick up a lot of breakables. This one here I picked up on Whatnot. 
And I bought this from Zombie Bargain Hunter. He had a whatnot show selling all animated plush. And I love animated plush. So I was like, I am there. Um, I like to get them because I test them on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. And they're just great items. So it gives me video footage over there. And plus they sell. I know they're typically a good selling item, the animated plush. So I paid $5 plus shipping for this. And I sold it for $42.25 plus shipping. So definitely a bolo. This is Zombie Bargain Hunter over on YouTube. Definitely check him out. He mainly focuses on selling plush, but he does sell other items. And you will definitely learn from him. So check him out. And he is also on Whatnot as Zombie Bargain Hunter. This is two vintage 24 cards and envelopes. Santa Claus Night Before Christmas box sets. And I got these. I don't remember where I got these. I think maybe an estate sale. Not sure. Sold them for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item here is the talk boy. I did a video on this. I went to a garage sale. I hadn't been to a garage sale in a while. And I walked up and I found so many bolos at the garage sale. I do have some video footage of that. If you guys want to check out that video. It's like me holding up something and it says I finally found one. So uh, that's the video. I got this for $2.50 at a garage sale. Sold it for $49.60 plus shipping. This is one of the items that you know how you have a bolo list and you're like, I know it's a bolo. And if I see it, I'm going to know it. I saw it and I'm like, no way. Um, unfortunately, I got two that day and neither one of them worked completely, but it still sold pretty quickly for a nice profit. The next item is this vintage, um, it's a model kit by Heller. And I bought a whole bunch of these at a garage sale. I paid $3 each for them. Some of them sold quickly. Some of them have been more long tail. This sold for $55.80 plus shipping. This is the 1978 Muppet Show metal lunchbox, no thermos, Kermit the Frog. And I was actually shocked at how quickly this sold. Um, I bought it for two and sold it for a best offer of $55 dollars and the buyer paid shipping. I listed this November 1st. Well, that doesn't, did it sell that quick? November. Oh, okay. So I think I ran this on auction and nobody bought it. And then I listed it November 1st and it sold November 5th. So quite possibly somebody could have seen that I relisted it as a buy it now. And maybe that's why it sold so quickly. They could have been watching my auction. Uh, these are the lot of 34 good to grow juice toppers. I did a whole video about these. If you don't know about it, definitely check out that video. This is kind of one of those unexpected bolos. Could I have made more money parting it out? I kind of talk about that in the other video. So check it out. Got these at the Goodwill bins by weight. So probably three bucks at the most, maybe, maybe four. And I sold these for a best offer of 75 plus shipping. I listed these on November 1st and they sold on November 6th. So a fast sale. This is a vintage Eisenberg ice snowman brooch, November 1st and sold November 8th. So it sold pretty quickly. And Eisenberg, I think is a decent brooch brand. I'm not 100% sure. You guys could probably tell me more. Um, $45.50 plus shipping. So I'm guessing it's pretty good or somebody just wanted a snowman. I'm not completely sure, but I was surprised at how quickly it sold. This one right here is a jewelry 10. So this is like the other one that I showed you earlier. So there's a story behind this one. I sold it, I want to say for over a hundred and I got a return and I'm like, what on earth? Why did I get a return? You know, like I was so confused. Well, I didn't catch it. When I listed it, do you see right here, this little hole, there is a little uh, thing missing. One of the little like things that sticks out the top of the head. I didn't catch it. And there's also a little knob. See the top, how it has three and then there's one missing. I didn't catch it. Now, these photos right here show that because when I relisted the item, I noted the defects. All right but I didn't catch it the first time I listed it. It wasn't super noticeable. Like if you just look at that, you don't really see any problems, right? So I just missed it and they opened an, um, a return and I happily accepted, apologized, gave them a full refund to include their shipping and I relisted the item. And I relisted it on November 3rd and sold it on November 9th 
damaged, guys, incomplete and damaged for $85 plus shipping. It sold that quick. So if you see this brand, Jewelry 10, definitely, definitely look it up. The next item is another brand that I will not bring to Whatnot. And that is because it is another artisan signed piece. And on Whatnot, I'm typically doing like a grab and sell style and I'm pulling things up and it doesn't give people a whole lot of time to look things up. So they may hear Liz Tech and be like, I've never heard of Liz Tech. And if you look at it, it's like written right here, like with a, a Sharpie or something. It doesn't look super high end, right? It does also have the little pendant, but this is probably the artist's actual signature. But you would look at this and you probably wouldn't think, oh, that's big money, right? So I might get five or 10 bucks for it on whatnot. Well, I researched it when I found it because anything that's artisan made, I always look up because I'm curious about it. And I'm always trying to learn new brands. Well, this one sold for $97.50 plus shipping. So there's a brand for you guys to be on the lookout for that I more than likely will not bring to whatnot. <laughs> I'm not saying never, but probably not. Um, now, a lot of times I do unboxings or untanglings and I just throw the box in a uh, thing and I grab and sell. So I guess it could show up, but uh, if I pre-sort and I see a Liz Tech, it's going on eBay. This is a Vera Bradley triple zip crossbody purse. So this is like the other one. And I didn't put purple in the title. So good for me. Uh, this one I got at a garage sale for $2, sold it for $89.75 plus shipping. That was a great garage sale. And I bought a whole bunch of, uh, what do you call them? The little cars, uh, the metal cars, die cast cars that are new in the packaging. And I keep saying, I'm going to bring them to Whatnot. I'm going to bring them to Whatnot. And I have not brought them to Whatnot yet. So if you guys are not following me on Whatnot, definitely do that. There is a link down below. It is a, a referral link. So you'll get $15 to shop. And um, I basically sell tons of jewelry, but I also sell toys and I've sold clothing. I've sold vintage Christmas. I've sold vintage this and that. So I have all kinds of shows over there. So I would love for you guys to come and follow. I also have tutorial videos that teach you how to sell on whatnot, if that's an, of interest to you. So check those out. And I hope to see you at a show. Here is a weird bolo. It's a vintage Halloween prop teeth ice salad tongs. I got these at the Goodwill bins. They're Hong Kong. And I sold these for $40.30. So bought it by weight, probably a couple bucks in those. And weird sells. Uh, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel always says it. Weird sells. Buy the weird. And I agree with her. So I bought the weird. Now, this one was another day when I was like, I've got to get some stuff on eBay. And this brooch caught my attention because it was really beautiful. And it doesn't look super special. It's uh, metal, I think. and you know, I sell these metal flowers all the time on whatnot and they do okay. You know, sometimes I get five for them. Sometimes they go up to like 15. It really just depends who's in the audience. But this one was marked Sandor and I'm like another brand I've never heard of and curiosity will sometimes get me. And I looked it up and I could not find anything like it. So honestly, I'm like, I'm just going to try an auction and start it high. Like I tell you guys all the time, if you've never heard of the brand and there's none listed, start the auction high. Somebody offered me 110. Well, I didn't take it because I'm like, it's got quite a few watchers. I've never seen the brand. I've got it listed at $99.99. Um, could I have increased my price of the auction? Yes, but it was only $10 more. So I was willing to take the risk. Well, it sold for $99.99 plus shipping. I'm very happy with that. Um, did I lose $10? Yes, but oh well. You know, uh, I could have possibly had a bidding war at the end and it could have went crazy. So it was worth the $10 risk to me. This is a Wendell August triple switch cover plate, dogwood flower, handmade solid bronze light switch. I got these at a garage sale. It equaled out to about a dollar a piece for these. Sold this one for 65 plus shipping. This is a vintage Avon advent calendar fabric, no mouse, countdown to Christmas. And it says see details. So I think there were like some imperfections and stuff on it. 
and it did not have the mouse. And I sold it for 93 plus shipping and I got it at the Goodwill bins. I found two of these on the same day right there together at the Goodwill bins and my heart was racing. Um, I don't normally get super, um, my heart doesn't race over finding something typically, but they had just brought the card out. It was in my eyesight. There were people on both sides of me and my heart was racing because I knew how big of a money bolo these are. And I got two, two in the same day. I was so excited. I was so excited. And that was part of the lost footage. So you guys never got to see that footage. All right, this is a Catherine's Collection Fish Glitter Teeth Pinwheel Hat Backpack Ornament with Tag. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold it for $46.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Here is another one that is that Liz Tech brand. And again, I had sold the one that looked like a music note. So I knew this brand and I was like, I'm putting it on eBay. I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to list it high and I'm going to put it on eBay. And you guys, it sold super quick. Again, artists and signed. People on whatnot probably aren't going to know this is a bolo. I probably would have lost my tail on this one. And I lose my tail all the time selling jewelry on whatnot. I'm not going to lie. People get some really great deals from me because I don't typically look stuff up. But now that I know this brand, I, I'd be silly to, to not put this on eBay. I listed this on November 18th and it sold on December 5th for $107.25 plus shipping. So that is what you guys are looking for if you ever see that. And this might be an item that you can scoop up on whatnot from another seller that doesn't know the brand that didn't look it up, okay? And a lot of people do that on whatnot. Like I said, my grab and sell shows where I do untanglings, I'm not looking the stuff up. I am not. And even on my preloaded shows, I am just trying to get that preloaded as quick as possible and I just know that on whatnot, like I am looking for the quick sale. I am not going for the listed high and wait it out. That's my eBay method. Whatnot is I start my items at $5 or less. And I expect that people are going to get a deal and they're going to make money on it. And I'm good with that. That is, I'm good with it. I mean, people are like, do you know what that sells for? And I'm like, awesome. Awesome. You know, congratulations. And I'm okay with that. Now, um, could I get all upset and be like, oh, I should have looked it up. I should have looked it up. Yes. And I've had people tell me all the time, don't sell that. Don't sell that. And I'm like, I'm selling it. I'm selling it. I'm doing it guys. You know, because that's my expectations from that platform. I know that a lot of you guys are coming over and buying. So I'm selling to resellers. I'm a reseller. You guys, I get it. I go on whatnot and I buy from other resellers. I have a whole video that I did of items from a this and that show that I bought from Catfield and Thrifty. She was selling stuff starting at one and $2 and I think $3, some of them. Yeah, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to sell it and I'm going to flip it for a profit. So if you want to see what I got from Catfield and Thrifty, you can check out this video and she also sells beautiful jewelry. So check her out and um, check out that video to see some of the crazy items bought one of the items I'm like did she buy this to resell and then I was like did I buy this to resell and then it goes back to buy the weird and it is so weird so check out that video for my fun finds from whatnot that I am going to flip on eBay all right you guys thank you so much for being here thank you for watching be sure to like comment subscribe and share and go down there and grab that whatnot referral link, get your $15 to shop and come and hang out with me on whatnot. Even if you don't buy anything, it's super fun to just hang out in the chat. Thanks for watching.